I'm not for lowering the standard of working people. And that's what we're talking about. I mean, let's face it. Come on. We're talking about people that work by the sweat of their brow. That's what we're talking about. And saying, we're going to pay you less. Guess what? We're going to pay you less. I mean, that is going in the wrong direction. That is going in the wrong direction. Senator Gibbons? Well, right to work doesn't necessarily presume that you're going to be paying someone less. Right to work simply says, if you're employed by what we consider to be a union workplace, do you have to pay dues into that union? And uh, we live in a free country. We live in a society that says the best person to bring the best skill sets should get paid the most money, and they should have the freedom to choose to pay into a union or not. And if you start to look at the states around us, it's a litmus test for corporations wanting a place to locate and or expand a business. One of the things they do on a checklist is, is that state a right to work or not, simply because of the threat of union expansion into that workplace. So I'm a strong proponent of us having uh, the freedom for workers to choose to pay a union or not choose to pay a union, but not be forced to pay a union. You know, well, when, but but when, it, when, when a union is an organized and established, there, there has to be a vote to bring it in. So there is a vote. There is a vote. I mean, you know, when people vote for me, I don't get 100% of the vote, but people accept me as their representative uh, for, for the two years that I serve. And so th that's the same thing with the union. There's a mechanism to vote them out. It happens. It, you know, I mean, we're acting like that people have no choice, absolutely no choice, and they do. They, they have a choice. I served on a rural electric board, was unionized while I was there. Uh, you know, the employees had a vote. There was an election. There was lobbying on both sides uh, about it, and it, and it won, and, and it's, worked, it's worked fine. It's worked fine. I have to disagree with Chairman Rand. Um, it is a huge factor when relocating, when locating a business to a state. We are marked off of numerous lists because of it. Um, and the evidence, um, if you look at right-to-work states, if you look at the wages in right-to-work states and the wage growth over time in right-to-work states, it exceeds that of non-right-to-work states and it exceeds that of the national average. It's so uh, it's, it's just not true. The, the standard of living, the wages of, of, of workers in states that are right to bargain, they're not right to work, are much higher than in right to work states. We, we can't win in this sort of race to the bottom. You know, we can't win by... Uh, why why we, would that be a race to the bottom? Because it, it, of those because numbers? Because wages are going to be lower. Wa wages are lower in right to work states than they're in other states. Now, now you're, you, gonna, you're, you're both good friends of Kentucky tonight, and you've been on this program before, and we've debated this uh, uh, before. Uh, but somebody is going to either tweet or email or Facebook me and say, how could these smart guys have two It's the only thing we disagree opinions. on. <laughs> the only thing. The only thing. Yeah. <laughs> what about, uh, so what, where are your numbers from, uh, Mr. Sunderland? And, and the, the neighboring, let's just, Indiana right to work state? Federal government data, Bureau of Labor Statistics, compare the states, compare the wages, compare how those wages have grown, and under right to work, under right so to work, and you, under non right you, to work. If you, if you believe unless that, you, you want to that, ad, unless you want to adjust the numbers in some way. No, if you if you assume that uh, if you follow that logic, then Mississippi, Arkansas, South Carolina, Tennessee have the highest wages in the country. They have higher wages than New York and 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 Minnesota and Wisconsin, and it's just not true. Who is right to work now, uh, Mr. Sutherland, or anyone on the panel? Uh, uh, Indiana, pretty much everyone Tennessee, around us, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Oklahoma, everyone south of us.